Hello everybody. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's try to understand what are the differences between SLA, SLO and SLI. So this is one of the most important topics of site reliability engineering and we'll try to understand this using a basic example. Now, every time we talk about SRE, we have to understand that the secret or you know the prerequisite to success is availability if your service is not available then your service can never succeed so this is one of the fundamental principles of sre and the main reasons why google has coined this terminology called sre now sla sla is nothing but a service level agreement that you define or that you make with your client or with your users let's say i've built a service called uh, flipkart and uh, I want to promise my uh, clients or, you know, I want to promise my users that if you subscribe to my service, I am promising you that my service is available 99% of times. My service gives you a response back in one millisecond, 95% of times. So let's say that these are the two promises that I'm making to my client. And I tell them that in case I fail to provide you this, uh, you know, whatever points that I'm uh, telling you in the service level agreement, you'll get a refund back or you'll get some kind of penalty. So these things you mention in a service level agreement and you share it with your uh, user or your customer. So this is a very basic example. Uh, there are much, much more things that goes into SLA. So this is something that uh, to give you a basic understanding of SLA. And now the second thing is SLO. SLO is nothing but a service level objective. And uh, with SLO, what you will do is that every promise that you make to your customer, you have to go back and you have to define some objectives within your team. Now, let's say you have promised uh, your customer that your service is available 99% of times. Then you have to define an objective within your team for this point, right? So you have to make sure that your service is available at least 99.5% of time. So you define an objective for that. And uh, for each and every point that you put into your SLA, you define a service level objective for your team goals or for your uh, whosoever working on this specific service. Now, the third thing is SLI. SLI is service level indicator and uh, it is the actual performance of your uh, service or actual performance or the real numbers of what your service is doing. Uh, let's say if you go back to the example, you promise your customer that your service is available 99% of times but actually your service is only available 95% of times. That is your SLI. And in case your service is available 100% of times, so your, your SLI is much better than what you have promised to your customer. So this is SLA, SLO and SLI. Now, like uh, if you try to understand them, SLA are the promises that you make, SLOs are the goals or the objectives that you set within your team and SLI is the actual thing. Like how did you actually do? So this is one example. Uh, let's say that uh, you have made an agreement to your, with your customer saying that 99% of your requests complete in five milliseconds or you get a refund. Now, the objective that you define within your team is 99.5% of requests will be completed in five milliseconds because you have to set objectives more than your promise, right? If you're promising 99%, at least you have to have objective of 99.5%. And the indicator is the actual thing what has happened. Now, if you want to understand how a sample SLA looks like, so this is a GitHub link where uh, this user has put a very thorough and a very detailed SLA, which you can take a look at and understand, you know, how a SLA would look like. And then uh, if you want to deep dive into the concepts of SLA, SLO and SLI, you can go to this specific link. Uh, this is uh, cloud.google.com where you have fundamentals of all of these things with very wide uh, description. And, uh, you know, you can also deep dive into each of these concepts. But if you want me to make a video on this uh, in depth using, you know, talking about each and every aspect and writing a SLA document, then please uh, post that in the comment section so that uh, I get a motivation of uh, uh, making a large video on a uh, long video on this one. Uh, and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my videos. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.